Bane Adventure. Episode Hunting for Barbary Sheep and Bassetti Ibex. The hunt is on. He chooses this rifle for the hunt. After an entertaining flight and a pleasant arrival, we immediately make our way to the territory. About half an hour later, we find ourselves at an ideal place where we can inspect our weapons. Once again, the weather conditions are not perfect, especially the gusty wind which causes us some headaches. At 900 yards distance, we find a suitable destination. This time, we are unlucky with the wind and are prepared for a very difficult hunt. The combination of the best of the West and our hunter behind the Huskamar optics makes us look forward to the upcoming hunt with excitement. Our first hunt is for the much sought after Barbary sheep. Ignacio from Great European Hunts has confirmed that there are usually two strong rams in this region. With a little help from the hunting gods, we might even score a double today. The tension increases dramatically when we catch a glimpse of them in our binoculars. Now we have to find a good shooting position as quickly as possible. Finally, we have a clear view of the Barbary sheep to put our hunter's skills to the test. The wind is just unimaginably strong, but our hunter rises to the challenge. And indeed, it all goes to plan. After barely 20 seconds, our hunter manages to score the dream double. Simply ingenious and hard to fathom. Huh? Right, my time. Like, like this, eh? Think like this. We can't wait to reach the quarry and come face to face with the Barbary sheep.
next morning should be a very special hunt. We search the slopes of this beautiful part of Spain for a particular ibex. The sun is quite low already when finally we notice some action in the ibex group. At a safe distance, as we observe the hustle and bustle, we hope to soon catch sight of the one we are looking for. The hunt begins. Ignacio manages to spot the unique ibex briefly through the trees. Now we have no more time to lose. We must find a proper shooting position for the ibex. All of a sudden, the moment has come, and finally our sought-after ibex presents its broadside. The incredible display is truly unique. Unfortunately, even after a careful search of the terrain, the only shooting position we can find is less than ideal. Since the ibex are already feeling disturbed, we cannot leave our natural cover, so we start with the preparations for the shooting. Sebastian from European Outfitting provides our shooter with the current wind data. Suddenly, there is activity going on in the group. The shooting position is not perfect, but there is no time left for adjustments. Our ibex lies bedded under a shade-giving tree. Hopefully, we get to see it once again. Out of nowhere, the ibex suddenly stands up. Our hunter has already corrected for the strong wind. Now, only a minimal correction is needed for the altitude. We succeed in doing the seemingly impossible. At such a distance, with such a gusty wind and bad conditions, we succeed in firing a precise, deadly shot. A great, heart-racing success for our hunters, eliciting many congratulations for such a fine shot. Due to the late hour, we do not arrive at the kill until it is totally dark, and we are more than impressed. This sight is simply exceptional. We enjoy this special moment and analyze the shot again. Oh, perfect. Maybe the bullet did like this. Yeah, I think so. No tiene ningún sentido que la salida sea ahí. Wow. 
with the last hunt of the day, our adventure in Spain comes to an end. In a beautiful hunting ground, we stalk an ancient Bassetti Ibex. When we spot the ibex in the forest, the tension rises sharply. Is there possibly a suitably old ibex in this pack? He's digging, he's digging to lay down. Yeah, he's coming out now. Suddenly, the bucks move out of the forest, and indeed, there is a suitable ibex in the pack. The familiar shooting routine can now begin anew. There could not have been a better ending to our hunt in Spain. A hearty good hunting goes out to our hunter. With great pride and satisfaction, we can look back on the last few days and our extraordinary good fortune. We are excited and look forward to our next adventure. Thank you.